Hi, welcome to next video on Azure Fundamentals. This is related to section CapEx and OpEx, that is Capital Expenditure and Operational Expenditure. We are going to see 20 questions with answers and explanations in less than 20 minutes time. Let's start. If you are new to this area of work, that is Capital Expenditure, or operational expenditure please refer my learning video which is posted in my learning video subsection i mean the playlist i will provide you the link in the description first question is the following statement is true or false Capital expenditure describes an action of spending company funds on renting services or infrastructure over a period of time. Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is false. The reason is renting services or infrastructure is not permanent and is considered as an operational expenditure because they are going to happen time to time something like monthly basis or twice in a week or twice in a year like that and so this is an example of op operational expenditure and not capital expenditure next question in an operational expenditure model you can deduct the tax dash is it over a time or in the same year or in the same month or at the at the moment of the purchase the right answer for this question is in the same year let's see the ans let's see the explain uh, reason for this uh, selecting this answer the operating expenditure represent the daily expenses necessary to keep up the business going opex can be fully detected in the same accounting period in which the items are all purchased and so option b is the correct answer having your own data center infrastructure has a big dash cost associated is it initial or over time or initial and over time the right answer for this question is initial let's see the reason your own infrastructure means you need to purchase servers invest in the server room cooling networking etc this is of course cost money which means you need to invest a lot of money initially later your costs are relatively low if you are comfortable with the data center and so the right answer for this question is option a next question as a company dash in size they can dash price per unit for their customer. This is so called the principle of economies of scale. You need to fill option A for first dash, option B for the second dash. The option, uh, options are gross comma increase, option B shrink comma decrease, option C gross comma decrease. The right answer for this question is option C. Let's see the explanation for this question. This means that the that the company grows and the production units will definitely increase. A company will have a better chance to decrease its cost because of the more number of production. Next question, small companies usually have a dash price per unit due to their scale. Is it low or medium or high? The right answer for this question is option C, high. Let's see the reason. Bigger companies can build internal teams, share resources, invest in research, negotiate prices, etc. All this leads to lower the price per unit. Unfortunately, smaller companies cannot do that, which leads to higher unit per price. And so option C is the correct answer. Next question, which of the three best describes the benefits of the cloud? Is it economies of scale or fixed pricing or cost and predictability? 
the right answer for this question is economies of scale let's see the reason fixed pricing is not a principle of cloud computing in cloud you can always predict cost using various tools as well as the usage and forecast and so economies of scale is the right answer the concept is the ability to reduce cost and gain efficiency when operating at a larger scale in comparison to operating at a smaller scale and so that is the right answer next question true or false cost per unit or cost per service lowers as the size of the company grows is it true or false the right answer for this question is true the reason why it is true is the concept of economic scale is implied here which we have seen in the previous question and so the right answer is option a next question no capex is required for public cloud private cloud or hybrid cloud the right answer for this question is option a that is public cloud with the public cloud there is no capital expenditure on server hardware etc you only pay the cloud resources that you are going to use and for a specific period just like a pay as you go model and so there is no initial capex or initial investment is required like a capex for using public cloud next question which among the following requires huge initial capex public cloud private cloud or hybrid cloud the right answer for this question is private cloud let's see the reason setting up a private cloud require huge capital expenditure for number 1 preparing a data infra facility either buy or rent it out Num number 2 procuring server storage network and switches number 3 setting up power units and cooling number 4 man power for configuration initial setup and all these four items lead to huge capex and that's why private cloud is the right answer true or false restoration of an asset value through the upgrading is considered as capex is it true or false the right answer for this question is true let us see the reason fixing asset issues means either you are maintaining an asset or altering an asset asset to work efficiently or replacing some spare parts the expenditure comes under any of these category is considered as capex if the asset is altered or improved or replaced then the expenditure is capital expenditure that is one of a debating topic next question true or false advertising cost is considered as a capex is it true or false the right answer for this question is false let's see the reason all marketing activities should be considered as operational expenditure or opex some say branding should be considered as capex and advertising advertising should be considered as opex next true or false fixing asset issues is considered as opex is it true or false the right answer for this question is option b false let's see the reason fixing asset issues means either you are maintaining an asset or altering an asset to work efficiently or replacing some spare parts the expenditure comes under any of these category is considered as capex if the asset is altered or improved or replaced then the expenditure is considered as capital expenditure next question true or false purchasing azure reserved virtual machine instances is a capex is it true or false the right answer for this question is true let's see the reason a reserved instance is where you buy 
an instance upfront by paying huge amount of money either for one or three years this can save you money as you receive a discount on the cost of a vm if you pay upfront for reserved instances however as this is an upfront payment and the money value is more it will be classified as capex and not opex next true or false building an application could qualify as a capital expenditure is it true or false the right answer for this question is true let's see the reason classifying app, app development and website development expense, expenses is not simple issue it depends upon who is developing your website or app how you are paying for it how you are going to use your website and many more say for example building an application involves uh, proof of, uh, involves the business case development business alignment development proof of concept development design discussions architecture discussion formal designs and then application coding testing then doing integration and then application deployment all this involved considerable cost in terms of manpower in, and software licenses procurement server storage procurement and then other activities including marketing and so the right answer for this question is true that is capital expenditure next true or false you pay for your service or product as you use is called as capital expenditure is it true or false the right answer for this question is false refer uh, refer part of the question pay as you use and that is a service or a product is used or going to be used by you for a while for that usage there is a cost that is a service cost all service cost comes under operational expenditure and so it is uh, uh, the right answer is opex and so we selected option b true or false leasing software and the customized features customized features is a capital expenditure is it true or false the right answer for this question is false let's see the answer leasing software or a feature has a fixed time frame this is we are availing services of your software for a specific period and so for such period there is a charge applicable these charges is classified under opex true or false scaling charges based upon usage or demand is considered as opex is it true or false the right answer for this question is false let's see the reason this is a tricky question in cloud the scaling or auto scaling where additional memory or storage is brought brought in or brought out dynamically based on demand for a customer it's not all altering or enhancing the hardware capacity physically it is a cloud service provider who brings up this feature so it is called as it is it is classified as operational expenditure if the scaling is happening in the customer on premises setup by adding additional memory or storage with the existing hardware what the customer hacks then it is a kind of server alteration or expansion then it should be treated as capital expenditure next question true or false raw materials and supplies is considered as capex is it true or false the right answer for this question is false let's see the reason operational expenses include cost of raw materials and supplies personal cost energy cost and the cost for sales and administration operating expenses are recurring expenses that are usually paid monthly or annually next question true or false opex items are generally used 
user app within the year they are purchased is it true or false the right answer for the question is true let's see the reason operating expenses are the funds that support your day-to-day -day business opex items are generally used up within the year they are purchased which examples include consumables such as printer cartridges paper electricity and other supplies next question true or false deploying your own data center is an example of capex is it true or false the right answer for this question is true let's see the reason deploying your own data center is an example of capex since it is required to purchase all the infrastructure upfront before it it can be used you need to purchase servers storage network switches lease or buy office space get required cooling units which all lead to cost which are under the classification of capex with that i end up today's video thank you i hope this video is helpful to you for your interview preparation or for certification preparation if you like this video please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell this is not the end of the session we are going to continue tomorrow in the same subject line again 20 question within 20 minutes time frame till then stay tuned and stay safe bye now